This is the plaintiff, Angela Brown. She says she went to the defendant for some denture and crown work, and the guy turned out to be a real hack. He could never get her teeth to fit right. He kept charging her over and over for impressions. And the final straw came when he took out a hammer and began pounding on her teeth to force them to fit. This guy's caused her all sorts of money and physical pain, and she's here suing him for the $5,000 she's owed. This is the defendant, Boris Natapov. He says he treated the plaintiff and gave her a temporary denture while a permanent one was being created. When they came in, he couldn't reach the plaintiff and she went missing for over a year. In the year she was MIA, her teeth shifted and her denture wouldn't fit anymore. He's gone back and forth trying to help this woman for two years. She never paid him any money and now she has the nerve to try to sue him? Good luck. He is accused of causing a patient some pain. All parties, please raise your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been affirmed here. Thank you, Douglas. Angela Brown, yes, you are suing Boris Natapov for $5,000 in pain and suffering and a refund on dental work that you say he didn't complete. Yes, Tell me Honor. what is going on. I was referred to this dentist um, in the summer of 2016. I went in his office for crown and dentures. I got the crowns, which I paid for. How much did you pay for the crowns? Seventeen fifty for the okay. two crowns. Okay. Now the denture, I never gotten the denture. What happened is that he told me I needed seven fifty for the work to be started. I gave him the seven fifty. So you gave him seventeen fifty for the crown, That's and then another seven fifty to, to start the work. To begin the work for the partial dentures. Okay. I got the two crowns, but I never got the dentures. What happened? He went away in Europe and he came back. When he called me, he said, Angie, your denture is ready. I went back to the office. He fitted the partial denture, but it was too loose. I'm sorry, what date did you do the impressions for the partial denture? I took the impression in April. In, okay, in stop, June. April 2016. See if that's when you do the impression. She started to do the denture, uh, April 16. April of 2016? And April 16. 2016. Okay. Does that sound right? Because that's what you had originally said. Okay. Show me your medical records. I'd like to see them. Absolutely. All right. So you go in on April 16th, and when's your next appointment? My next appointment was in July when he's came. Of what year? Of 2016, Judge. Okay. And, and according to you, you couldn't make it sooner because he was on vacation? He was away in Europe. We so when you came in in July, what happened? What happened, he had the dentures ready for me, but when he put them in, they were too tight. Okay. So he said he had to take it back to his lab to loosen them up, so I needed to give him a $950. Okay, did that happen? No, absolutely not. All right, not. do you have proof of the $950 payment? I don't have any receipts, Judge, but I'll tell you what happened. Wait, the, no, uh, do you have a check, a canceled check? I gave check? him the money cash, and he gave me a receipt. And you lost it? I lost, this is two years, Your Honor. Well, don't get mad at me. I'm just, you're coming to court to sue for money that you <laughs> yeah, can't I'm prove you paid? I'm not mad at you, Your Honor. No, but you see what I'm saying? You're coming to court to sue for money that you paid, but you have no proof you paid it, and he denies he received it. Okay. Why would you pay another $950 if it didn't work and you'd already paid for it? He told me in order for me to get the denture, Your Honor, I need, he need to pay his lab to adjust and readjust the denture, and that's the only way I'm gonna get my denture, so I don't that know. That didn't sound suspicious to you? Your Honor, I'm in And the you're saying that didn't happen and you never collected another nine Listen, fifty. And you don't have proof of paying that nine fifty. Your Honor? All right, let's go to the next date after July. When was the next time you were there after July? I was there sometime in October of, of 2016? Yes. Okay, and what happens in October? <laughs> the, he bought the dentures back to me and it was too tight. Okay. 
And then and what I happened? And I gave him another. He said he had the same thing. He had to take it to his lab to adjust and readjust it. I gave him another 950. Do you have any proof of giving him that? Your Honor. You don't, just yes or no? Do you have no, proof? No, I don't, I don't have and the receipt. And you deny that she paid you okay. the 950? Okay. Okay. January, so when does she come in? In January. Go ahead. In January, I went back now for the final fitting. I'm going to get the denture in now. This is, this is it. Okay. He said to me, oh, it's too loose. It doesn't fit. I got to take it back to the lab and have them reach us. Now, what happened on, in January? It didn't fit. Again, he asked for another 950. I refused. He had a, a dental hammer, a small dental hammer that he was banging on the denture. And what happened? It broke in his hand. The denture broke in his hand. I said, that's it. Give me my money back. Now I'm asking him for my money back. He said to me, do you have receipts? I said to him, did you take 750, 950, and 950 from me on three different occasions? He said, do you have receipts? I said, look, look, by the way, who told you dentistry? He said, my dad. And for your information, I'm waiting for a phone call from NYU to join their faculty team. I turned to him and I said, look, it's my knowledge and belief that NYU is an institution that trains students from all over the world to learn how to do impression, partial denture, and extracting. Now, if you took money from me, I'm in my right state of mind, you're a professional, you took money from me on three different occasions, and you're asking me if I have receipt, then you're not only Dr. Doolittle, but hey, you're a little bit shady right here. This is shade. So I'm saying to him now, look, is, are you gonna give me my money back? Cause now I'm treating you as a professional. While I was in his office, his wife, and I was, you know, I was bleeding from, he's trying to take out the extraction. His wife was, you know, attending to me. I turned to her and I said, are you a dental hygienist? She said, oh no, I'm not a dental hygienist. I don't need the certificate. I know what I'm doing. I said, your husband is a dentist. I'm a patient and I should be treated as such. I said, do you believe you were right there when I gave this man my money and he wrote me a receipt and because of my everyday activities, I happens to lose the receipt. He said, well, what can I say? This is what, I said, you know what? Let's go to court. Let's take this to court. Come on up, please. Come on up. Yep. No, no, right here on the, right to, the to the microphone. Oh, yes, sure. yes, thank you. Did he ask her, do yes. you have receipts over and over again in no. one of their confrontations? No. Okay. Uh, did you ask her, do you have receipts in one of your, in your last, I guess, your last confrontation with her or your last visit you're, with her? You're asking yeah, me. I'm asking you. Yeah. It was never, ever was asking another uh, money. Like she said, 950, it's absolutely. Oh my God. No, did she lie. ever, sit, did she ask for her money back? No, mm. no. It, so because she was we, never I, in the I, office I asking insert, for the money. I insert the crowns. It was very difficult, mm -hmm. but I did some special. So thing. according to you, you you inserted two crowns. two crowns. That's what she paid for, and she never paid for any dentures. Absolutely. And the dentures, which makes sense because the dentures is what you were approved for with Medicaid. Are you suggesting he never put crowns in, or are you suggesting you should get your money back because? you had to go to a different dentist to put two more crowns in on those same teeth. What your, is your, your lawsuit? Honor, I'm asking for my money back. For the dentures. Money that but, I've given to him. Right, but I'm needing you to understand what I'm saying. I've looked at all the dental records, and I've looked at the Medicaid um, uh, answer to the claim on Medicaid. You did authorize a claim to Medicaid, right? They approved the dentures, which means Medicaid was going to pay for dentures. And, um, but they denied the crown, which means you were going to pay for the crown. So his version of events, that what money you did pay was for crowns, makes sense. Yes. At, because you wouldn't have paid money for something Medicaid was going to cover. I have the Medicaid printout that he says, this is all I got from Medicaid. Do you have something else that you'd like to show me? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, her Medicare, Medicaid covered um, the entire cost of the dentures. Can she still get money for the dentures? No, she shouldn't. Because? She doesn't have, she, there's no loss. She didn't lose anything. She was reimbursed by the insurance company. Okay, let's say it's just private insurance. 
if you buy private insurance and you're paying the premium, do you have to, can you still go after the guy because you're the one that decided to pay the premium? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it makes any sense. Why would you still get paid back for something you paid nothing for? You know what you are? You're just way too logical is what you are. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. All I have with me right now was, is the extraction that I took out, that tooth, and I had to go to another dentist. Um, you have a case against him for pain and suffering as well. Yes. Um, I, I can tell you right now that on the refund and dental work, that's not going to happen. Because everything I've seen indicates to me that it's Medicaid who was covering the dentures. So if you didn't end up with workable dentures, really tell Medicaid they should collect their money back from him. But money that you paid was for the crowns, which Medicaid said they wouldn't cover. I see that from the only Medicaid evidence in front of me, which he has handed to me, and also from your dental records, which corroborate exactly what he said on that. You also, though, have a case for pain and suffering for $2,350 to bring you up to the $5,000 max. Tell me about what pain and suffering he caused you, because maybe you're entitled to that. Tell me about because, that. Because, Your Honor, after giving him my money on three different occasions, I didn't get the, my result, my denture. And there, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, I didn't have dinner with my family because of the embarrassment. I, I paid for this work, and I didn't get it. And here this man is standing in court saying he never gotten a dime from me. No, he doesn't say that. He says that he did get a certain $1,750 from you. Your Honor, why would I stand in this man's office and ask him for my money on three different occasions and I'm not crazy? No, I need you to tell me about your pain and suffering. My what, pain and suffering was because that of you the did, embarrassment, you did, embarrassment that caused, the humiliation that I caused. Did you ever get the dentures? Never gotten the dentures. So if you didn't get the dentures, how are you living now? How are you appearing on national television now? Isn't this humiliating? It's the same teeth that you had where you co apparently couldn't spend Thanksgiving with your family. Hey, but what I paid for it, I paid in okay. advance for right. it. Um, based on the evidence that has presented or not been presented in front of me, I find in favor of the dentist in this case because you can't even prove that you, that you paid that work. It's very clear to me from what I'm looking at that Medicaid was covering the dentures and that you got the crowns and that um, you cannot prove that you paid over $1,000 more than what the evidence shows you paid. You have no receipts. Your pain and suffering is based on something that even all these years later you haven't even taken care of because it's so painful and humiliating. Um, and no, I'm not going to order him to return any of the money. Verdict for the defendant. Uh, no, there's really nothing you need to say. You just won. Well, based on lack of proof or lack of evidence again, Ms. Brown, I'm sorry, but the judge did not find in your favor. You lost the case. Yeah. You understand. You know, you claim you made two $950 payments, but you had no proof of that. Yeah, yeah, I know. And he's full of a whole lot of BS like a constipated elephant because he know I gave him my money on three different occasions. But you know what? Karma is a bitch. Yeah, I do pay. How'd you pay him? Cash? Cash. And well, Why'd you do that? Why would I? I don't know. I just give him my money. He's an old man. He's a professional. I just think out of good ethics. Well, you know, that I really hurt you. I should have known when he told me his dad taught him dentistry. Maybe he need to apply at NYU as a student. <laughs> okay. The door is that way. Well, obviously she's a little upset. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just want her to do good thing, to feel nice and good. This is my old fashioned from my dad was yeah. a uh, yeah. dentist, but yeah. I graduated NYU this year, 25 years. Well, you had all the I'm records very, you I'm needed, very you know. Sorry. You, I'm very sorry for you this prevailed, case. so good for you. Congratulations, thank you. all right? Thank, thank you very I'm much. Very sorry, thank you, time. Okay, very good. All right, Harvey, again, yes. evidence is what the defendant need, or plaintiff needed, and uh, she just didn't have it. Okay, Doug, um, when you sue for pain and suffering, this is really important. People wonder, you know, how do you get pain and suffering? You keep a diary showing everything that happened to you, everything you're feeling, all of the pain, day by day by day. You have that diary and then you present it to the judge.